the Keith Speaking Academy and welcome to today's live lesson. Today we're going to look at this topic, the really interesting topic of leaders, leadership. We're going to be looking at vocabulary, idioms, talking about different kinds of leaders and the kind of questions you might want to look at in this topic and how you can answer them, along with some tips for part two and tips for part three. That's what we'll be looking at today. If you're on YouTube watching the recording, even if you're watching live, um, do subscribe and turn on that funny notification button so that you can find out about any new videos coming up in the near future. I tend to post videos on Saturdays now, so I will be recording videos for Saturday. And this Saturday, actually, we're going to have another mock test video. Um, I'm not going to tell you much about it other than, like last time, you'll see a full mock test with some feedback and tips about how to push your level up. That's it. Great. So who is in the house Clarice, hello, is in the house. Nice to see you. Gerald from the Philippines. Hello, sir. Tarek, hello there. And Haifa is very happy to be in the live show. I'm very happy that you're happy, Haifa. Uh, Abdu, welcome. Thank you very much. Sador, nice to see you. Um, Miriam, you're welcome. Nice to see you here. And a polyglot from Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, are you a polyglot? I wonder. Probably you are, if that's your handle. Great. And Felicita is live here as well. We're all live. Great. McDonald, great live vibes from Nigeria. Nice to have you here. Very, very good. Excellent. Who else? Let's just have a quick, quick run through. Dukdu Yufam. Hello. Excuse my pronunciation. Vietnamese. Vietnamese is one of those languages I have yet to not master, yet to even begin <laughs> learning. Never mind. Maybe soon. Great. So as I said, today we're all about leaders and leadership. OK, I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to tell you, first of all, um, just to remind you, if you are on YouTube, great. If you are not yet in the Facebook group, come and join us. Right. There is a Facebook group if you're into Facebook. It's Keith's Mastermind Community for IELTS Speaking. We do try and motivate each other um, to keep studying, learn new language, to practice lots of English with different questions, um, to help everybody really push up and keep going to get a great score in the IELTS Speaking so come and join us there. My website, if you're not familiar with it, is this one over here. It's um, the Keith Speaking Academy. And I'm just going to show you very, very briefly over here. Um, it's keyspeakingacademy.com. There's information about the test. You can get the free live lessons, which are these. So about four or five hours after the class, you can go here to the free live lessons area um, and you can download the information. I've just put an explanation there. You can get from last time, recycling. You can download the information or if you're on a mobile device and you just want to read the lesson, you can click in and go and study the lesson directly. Um, all about that, you get these pop-ups. Just ignore those. Don't ignore them, but, you know, they're there. <laughs> and it's all there. And there's the stuff that you can learn. So that is there. There's also on the website top tips. I'm expanding the blog. So there's more and more information now. Um, different blogs about how to speak fluently, some sample answers, how to speak English confidently. Lots of information, basically. Lots of stuff there. Great. So that is on Keith Speaking Academy. And another thing before I forget is Instagram. I went on Instagram quite a while ago. And to be honest, I didn't really like it. Um, I don't know why. I just it didn't really appeal to me. And I left it. But Instagram have just begun reels, which is a bit like TikTok and these short videos. And I'm very much a video guy. Right. I like video as a way of teaching and learning especially language. 
So I'm back on Instagram. Uh, you can check it out. It's Keith dash, sorry, Keith underscore speaking underscore academy. Um, so there are more videos up there as well. Very short ones. But, you know, if you're on to, if you're on to, if you're on Instagram, God, prepositions in English. If you're on Instagram and into Instagram, like you like it, check me out. I'm there. <laughs> Great leaders. Come on, Keith. Let's get back into leaders. So let's begin going straight in. When we talk about leaders, I think this is a fantastic topic. And thank you very much to those who suggested it, because there are lots of related topics, um, lots of topics in IELTS that connect with leaders. Right. And let me show you what I mean. OK, so, for example, over here. Um, I'm going to come over here and let me move my stuff around, right? Let's take leaders off for the moment. So when we look at decision making, there are questions about decision making, right? That connects with leaders. You know, should should a leader discuss... <laughs> Wait a moment. <clears throat> Try again, Mr. O'Hare. Thank you very much, sir. Should a leader discuss decisions with team members? That's a tongue twister. Should a leader discuss decisions with team members? Great decision making. Family. Questions about the head of the family. You know, in your country, who's the head of the family? That's all about leaders. Teamwork questions. Do teams need a leader? The old question about cooperation versus competition, which is better? Should children learn competition or should, should they learn to be competitive or should they learn to cooperate? It's all connected with leaders, right? You can see, I hope, skills as well. The skills that people need in the future. Leadership, communication, team play, all of that, right? Education. Should we teach and can we teach children to be leaders? Ah, can we? Is it possible? Maybe not. Um, and games, right? What can children learn from playing games? They can learn leadership, how to lead or how to follow, right? So the, all of these topics, which are very, very common in IELTS, you know, they can be some way connected to leadership. So I think today will be really, really interesting. I think we're going to see lots of interesting stuff. Now, yesterday um, I put on the Facebook page some questions about different kinds of leaders. And what jumped out at me is that most people talked about political leaders. Indeed, somebody said, oh, I, I, I don't like the leaders in my country. So, you know, what can I say? Well, what I say to you is don't only think about politics, right? When we talk about leaders, we might we may be talking about political, right? Political leaders, but there are also religious re leaders. And I don't just mean the political leaders who are religious, right? In some countries, you're president may be the religious leader but religious leaders may be the priest in your community the rabbi in your community um whoever the guru wh whoever is your spiritual leader right that could be a religious le leader may be famous may, may not be famous a leader does not have to be famous could be a business leader right could be people like i don't know who's a business leader in britain uh, Richard Branson, um, in China, Jack Ma, Ma Yun, right? You've got business leaders all over the world. Might be a military leader, possibly, or even a community leader, somebody who leads in your community. Student leader at university in the UK, we have um, student leaders. You know, they are the head or the organiser of the student union. In the school, you'll have a prefect or a monitor who's kind of the head of the, the students in the school. And finally, family, right? As we said, maybe the father is a leader or the mother is a leader. Sometimes the baby 
is a leader <laughs> in some families, right? So there are different types of leader. So remember that when we look at this topic. And I'm going to remember to come and say, hello, see how you're all doing. See what's commenting. Oh, right. So a couple of nice questions here. Um, first of all, Abdu is from Ethiopia. Great. Nice, Abdu. Nice to see you here. But good question from Rawai. Does a successful person count as a leader? Well, no, not necessarily, right? Um, you can be very, very successful, but you don't, have to lead to be a success right i could be a very very successful writer make a lot of money but i'm not actually leading anybody unless i'm leading and influencing people through my writing so it's not being successful that makes you a leader but leaders can be successful <laughs> so <laughs> if that makes sense so they make so the answer is maybe but not necessarily. Great good ideas here team leader group leader right so in your team if it's a football team maybe or a basketball team or a group of people at work a project team um or a project at school the group leader project leader right great yeah, Preet says, in India, always the mother, leader in the family. <laughs> All the Indian men now will be, whoa, <laughs> really? Or maybe it's true. Maybe it's a matriarchal society. Great. What else is happening? Greetings from Greece, from Mapia. Hello. Right, Imran, what is cooperation and cooperate? To, uh, so cooperation is to work together teamwork working together to get things done right <laughs> sakshi nice to see you and thank you well done eng nabil from egypt he got 7.5 in his exam great hala is boss and leader lurder what's a lurder a lurder is when you type too fast harlin <clears throat> a leader is a boss and a leader the same Oh, well, yes and no, right? A boss, yes, has to lead people, right? The, the fact that you're a boss means you have subordinates below you. So, yes, you are leading people. Um, I'm hesitating because we also have the difference between manager and leader. And a manager is often a boss. So a manager um, gets things done, right? But a leader is a bit different. A leader is somebody with the vision, somebody who takes a lot of people to a different place. We're going to talk about the definition of leader in a moment, right? Okay, excellent. Greetings from Ghana. Anthony, hello from Ghana. Nice to see you. Uh, Sakshi, how can I join your online class? Um, go to the website and uh, you will find on the home page links to the web to the online classes you can join there great ceo is a leader hello lu lu dong ceo is a leader that's right ceo has to be a leader <laughs> the big cheese yeah sometimes colloquially we say the big cheese right okay excellent so let's move on let's get straight into a bit of useful vocabulary i mean very very basic right but lead is the verb i lead you to success uh, or you lead me to somewhere right um the past is led led i led you right so notice the pronunciation change i lead you but my boss led us to victory in the past the person is a leader Right. And the noun, the abstract concept is leadership. Leadership is an important skill. OK, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. Great ricochet word. Remember ricochet words? Nitty gritty. What is leadership? Or let's say, what is a leader? Exactly. Right. What is leadership? What is a leader? That means 
write down a comment. <laughs> Why does he do that? Write a comment. Tell me what you think. What is a leader or what is leadership? And let's see if we can nail this and get one or two good definitions. Love from Bangladesh. Hello and love from Spain. Pham Lu Tian from Vietnam. Hello. Good. Right. Ishmit said, someone who leads from the front. Great. So that's how they do it. But what is it exactly? Leadership is leading. Oh, yes. But what is leading? <laughs> Yo, yo, a person who takes control of the country. Well, as we said, uh, not necessarily. Um, takes control of the country. Not necessarily the country, right? They may con take control of a, of a group, of a company, um, or a club. Let me just uh, make a couple of changes there, right? So not only the country, but, you know, other things. <laughs> Emo, thank you very much. What else have we got? Pradeep says leadership is a way to reach a destination. Right, okay. Great. Jadis Sola says a leader is someone who guides and directs. I like it. Guides and directs. Direction. That's why we say direction. The leader takes you in a special direction. Very nice. Great. Jisu says, as well as guiding, they motivate the team. Yes, very, very good. Great. Uh, Emmy says, leader is someone. Okay, remember it's a leader. You have to put the, um, the article, right? A leader is someone who is responsible for the group. Yes. Venki says, love your avatar. The one who shows the path, right? Yeah, the leader, the one who shows, because it's leader, the one, right? The one who shows the path. And I think we're getting really close now with Silpa's idea. A quality of a person who can motivate and inspire a group to execute something or to do something, a task, if you like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Brilliant. And I'm going to add this one as the last one is really, really nice. Forgive me, I can't read your name, but someone who guides people to achieve their goals, right? So the idea of guiding, motivating, inspiring to achieve their goals, right? So fantastic. Good. What did I write down? I wrote down something earlier. I wrote down this. Guides others towards a common goal, right? Makes sense. You guide others towards a common goal. But we also put in there, motivate others, uh, motivate and inspire, we had. Right, to reach. So to, to do some kind of a task or to reach some kind of a goal, that seems to be it. Now, I'm going to share a website with you. I'm going to share this one with you. This is Mind Tools. And Mind Tools is going to tell us exactly what leadership is. If you're into if you're into business or you're studying business or you're interested in um, anything around business, this is a website I used to love years ago, and I do still love. It used to be free, but now it's no longer free. Um, you get like two or three articles, and then you have to start paying. But what I do, I just change my browser. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> just change your browser and you can keep reading it. <clears throat> I never said that. Keith did not recommend that. But here it is, right? So it's um, it's this one. It's, it's Mind Tools. And they've got all sorts of strategy, problem-solving, decision-making tools, as you can see. And I've gone into the leadership section. And let's just have a quick look together what it tells us about leadership, right? So the, le the word leadership can bring to mind a variety of images, not horses. That's an advertisement. A political leader, right? An explorer cutting a path through the jungle. Ooh. 
an executive developing her company's strategy. Great. Leaders help themselves and others to do the right things. They set direction, build an inspiring vision and create something new. Isn't that nice? That is so, so clear, right? Um, and it says in the next paragraph, yet while leaders set the direction, they must also use management skills to guide their people to the right destination in a smooth and efficient way. In this article, we'll focus on the process of leadership. Well, you can go and read this on your own sometime later. It even has a little podcast here. Listen. What is leadership? Quote from Professor Warren G. Bennis, Leaders are people who do the right thing. Managers are people who do things right. Ooh, that's interesting, right? Ooh, leaders are people who do the right thing. Managers are people who do things right. Oh, interesting, right? So anyway, here you can go and have a look at this. There's lots of information. Leadership, a definition, creates an inspiring vision, motivates and inspires Coaches and builds, manages delivery of the vision. That's getting the goal or the task, right? So there you go. If you want to find out more a language here, and if you're into business tools, um, this website is fantastic. I really, really do recommend it. Um, you know, go for it. It's really, really good. That's it. That's my recommendation of the day. <laughs> good leadership. Excellent. Let me see next. I'm going to move on. We've talked about leadership. Let's talk a bit about language, right? Now, when I was thinking about leadership, to be honest, quite a few idioms sprang to mind, popped into my mind, as we say, pop. A few idioms popped into my mind. Um, let me share them. And if you have some, please write them down. We can share them together, other idioms. She is a natural born leader, right? Natural born leader, something she's born as a leader. Their ability or her ability sets them apart, right? Makes them different, right? Makes them different or makes them better. Makes them different and better, right? Your ability to, to play the piano so well sets you apart from everybody else, right? Set apart. They stand out from the crowd. Do notice the prepositions stand out from, stand out from, stand out from, stand out from. Pronunciation practice for you. Stand out from. Stand out from. They stand out from the crowd. Nice. Notice the stress. Stand crowd. They stand out from the crowd. Great. Jack Ma stands out from the crowd. Nice. Notice the S, right? If it's he stands out from the crowd. Or they are a cut above the rest. It's the same expression, right? They are different. They are better, better than others. Basically, that means better than others. Um, so maybe we would say, you know, um, who? Richard Branson is a cut above the rest. Again, say with me, cut above, t above. A cut above. A cut above the rest. Dee, 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 dee. A cut above the rest. He's a cut above the rest. Now make your own sentence. Put the name of somebody. Mm, my father is a cut above the rest. Mm. What's your sentence? <laughs> Great. Good. Can you move your photo? Yes, I can. Sorry. <laughs> yes. I'll just disappear. Make it better. 
Finally, she is in a different league, right? The league, this is a bit like the Premier League or the Football League. The top league is the best one. So she's in a different league means better than the rest. It's the same meaning, exactly the same meaning. It's nothing to do with sport, right? It's not just being different, it's being better. Even though it's a different league, it means better than others. Um, let's add, somebody said she is second to none, which means she is the best, basically. Who was that? Let me share it with you. It's Jatham Pritkar. Great. Excellent. Nice. She's second to none. Cut above the rest. In my family, the grandfather is the leader. He's a cut above the rest. Nice, Lou. Your ideas are always ahead of the curve. Yeah, nice. Let's put his ahead of the curve. Really, it's brand new, right? Basically, brand new, pioneering, innovative. Let me write, take that up. His ideas are ahead of the curve. Nice. Thank you very much. That was Sarib. Thanks, Sarib. <clears throat> Roger Federer. Feder uh, Roger, uh, Roger is <laughs> Federer is a cut above the rest. Great. <laughs> nice. Any other expressions? Brilliant. Himram says, I am a cut above the rest. Wink. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Brilliant. Good. Down to earth, second to none. Rising stars. Yeah, if they're if they're new and becoming better. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> big picture, big fish, call the shots. All right, call the shots. Yes, let's put that in. <clears throat> the leader calls the shots <clears throat> right that's a nice expression <clears throat> and it means that he makes the decisions right because you know everybody can give their opinion and their idea but at the end of the day somebody has to make the decision somebody has to call the shots and it's the leader who calls the shots Top of the rank. Um, I'm not sure about that. The bee's knees. The bee's knees is not about being a leader, right? The bee's knees just means it's fantastic. You know, you can say he is the bee's knees, but it doesn't mean he's a leader. It just means that he's fantastic or very, very good. Oh, here's a good question. Maimuno, does idioms increase the speaking score? Um, it depends. Idioms and idiomatic language is necessary to get a band seven, eight, or nine. If you look at the band descriptors, it says a band seven uses some less common idiomatic vocabulary. Um, so seven, eight, and nine, yes, you do need to use some less common vocabulary or idiomatic vocabulary. But you know, don't just learn lots of idioms like these and start using them in the test. Learn them today, start practicing them, start listening to them. And when you really, and if, only if you really, really understand them and can use them confidently, then you can use them in the test. If you're not sure how to use them, I wouldn't use them in the test. You'll do more harm than good. So yes, they're important, but they're they're difficult to learn, and you it's more important to learn them well. <clears throat> Great. Good. Good question. Thank you very much, my Muna. Okay. Yeah, similar things. Out of this world is is a similar thing, basically. It's from another planet. Yeah, but that just means that they're not necessarily a leader. Okay, but guys, good. We've got some good idioms here. Um, let me move on. Tips for part two is next. Da, 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 da. Right. 
So in part two, right, there's this question. I am going to come back into the picture just for a moment. I'm going to squeeze over here. Um, there is a part two question. Describe a friend who is a good leader. So just to remind you, you don't have to talk about the president or the prime minister. And in fact, here, that's probably very difficult unless they are your friend. And my guess is for most of us, we don't we are not friends with the president of our country. <laughs> um, well, usually, right? Maybe some of you are, but Describe a friend who is a good leader. So how can you think about this? Well, as we said, let's look at some ideas here. You can talk about family, a member of your family, by the way. <laughs> In English, especially British and American English, we rarely say family members. I don't know why. It's just a strange collocation, right? You can say he is a member of my family. That's OK. But family members, we rarely say, right? Just to let you know, because I hear a lot of students saying that. So you could talk about a member of your family, right? Your father or your mother. <clears throat> you could talk about somebody, a friend who has a small business, right? If you know a friend who maybe has a shop, is a shop owner, or they have a restaurant, or they've just started their online business, Maybe they have a blog. I don't know. But a small business, probably, you know, they are leading some people, maybe even one or two people in this direction of their vision, their business. But you could also talk about a team, right? It could be a project at work or a project at school if you're at university um, or college. Normally, these projects, they'll have one person <clears throat> who is the leader, right, and others who are helping. It may be a nominated leader or just somebody who naturally leads the others, right? You don't need the title, I am the leader. Excuse me. It can be just somebody who is naturally a natural born leader, right? They just naturally start telling people what to do in a nice way, right? A leader, I don't think leaders have to be bossy, right? Some leaders are bossy. Now, bossy, if you don't know bossy, is do this, do that, do it now. Why haven't you done it? That's bossy, right? But leaders have to give orders, but they don't have to be bossy. Where am I? Clubs. You can talk about a club, right? Um, maybe it's a reading club. And so, so somebody who organises that should be a leader. It may be a chess club or a wine tasting club or an English speaking club. The organiser, if you like, is probably a leader. You could talk about that. Um, a coach, somebody coaching the school football team, right? Or, um, or somebody, it could even be somebody who plans an event. If you're planning a wedding, right? I want you to buy the flowers. We've got to make sure that this is the best wedding that Jack has ever had. Jack and Jill. <laughs> Jack and Jill. Make sure it's the best wedding. So you organise the flowers. How about you organise the catering? I'll look after the um, the party, blah, 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 blah. You might be leading a few people to organise a wedding or a conference or even a holiday, right? So there's lots of things you can be thinking about for this question, right? And remember, you can always stretch the truth. You can always tell a white lie, a little lie, um, right? Doesn't Nobody's checking if it's true. <laughs> right. OK. Excellent. Good. So there are some ideas for that question, right? Describe a friend who is a good leader. Excellent. <laughs> Let's just have a look. I'm just going to check in with you guys. Any questions so far? Meryl Streep was bossy in Devil Wears Prada. Nice example, Cyril. Very nice. Yes. Lynn, we, yeah, we don't often say family members. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Clara, I like this. My best friend is an untamed leader. He's been leading since preschool, right? Natural born leader. Some people, they just do it, right? Uh, okay. Uh, 
a leader is someone who's a decision maker. Good, good. Lots of good uh, questions there. For, okay, quick question from Yo-Yo. Mr. Keith, do idioms divide into both speaking and writing? The, the vast majority of idioms are spoken. There are some that you can use in writing. But to be honest, most of those that I present you are usually spoken, usually. Um, so again, you need to be very careful with idioms in writing. Um, possibly in the general writing part one, in a letter, you might use them. But in academic writing, by and large, we tend not to use idioms, right? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to move on to a question here. What kinds of qualities, let me get out of the way, does a leader need? Now, I actually asked this question on the Facebook group the other day. What kinds of qualities does a leader need? I'm going to share with you directly the things that you said. Um, and I've picked out some of my favorites over here, the qualities of a leader. And we got about 150 adjectives that you can use to describe a leader. So um, if you go to the Facebook group and you go to that post about the qualities of a leader, you'll get lots of brilliant adjectives. I've picked out some that I like. I've done it alphabetically, right, as you can see. Um, active, brave, charismatic. That's a difficult word. Can you say that with me? Charismatic. The stress on the ma. Charismatic. Yeah, Oprah is charismatic. Richard Branson is charismatic. Charismatic means they have a big personality, right? The kind of person when they walk in the room, they're just big and everybody goes, ooh, wow. You know, charismatic, bubbly, lively. Decisive, of course, they make decisions. Empathetic. Notice all of these are adjectives. And I did notice a few people getting confused with the noun and the adjective. So be really careful with your adjectives when talking about qualities here. Empathetic or empathic, you can also say fair, gregarious, maybe social, charismatic, honest, influential, difficult word as well, influential. It's a sh. Make sure you say it well with me. Influential. Stress on the N. Enshul. Enshul. Influential. Influential. Yeah, good. Jubilant. <laughs> Maybe. Happy. Kind. L. So here's my question for you. I could not find any L's or Q, V, X, Y, Z. <laughs> I've got optimistic, persuasive. You need to persuade people to follow you. Responsible, supportive, trustworthy. That means that you create trust and you build trust. Unprejudiced is nice. So any ideas, anybody, for these missing letters? Can you help me out here? <clears throat> Can anybody help out? Manage managerial managerial yes not man let me just correct that one tin two i'm not sure leaders are managerial they don't have to be managerial actually that's why they have managers below them to do that organizing responsibility that's okay that's the noun so remember the adjective responsible helpful is good Okay, we've got from Dahlia, helpful. Uh, cooperative, motive. So notice it's not motivate, it's motivational. Okay. This is a really important part. Make sure you're getting your right adjectives. Cooperative, motivational. Resourceful is good. Yeah. Can we answer with idioms in part three? Yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Cool-minded. 
Alpha Loyal. Thank you. Thank you. That's a nice one. Loyal. Yes. <clears throat> Patience and practical. Nice. Shakun has compassionate. Nice. Very good. Uh, a visionary. So with a so here you're using a noun to be a visionary. Okay. Yeah, good. Persuasive, trustworthy, unprejudiced, good. So any others? I can't get any cues. Any cues, anybody? X? No. Quintessential. Quintessential. That means the most important part. I'm not sure that describes a leader, Shakun. I'm not sure about that one. I don't think so. Voracious. Ooh, V for voracious. Let's put that in. That could be, yep, voracious. Absolutely. That's a good one. Lifts the team up. <laughs> nice. Lifts the team up. Well done. I like that. Lucky. Well, that's a nice one. Leaders are often lucky, right? Sometimes they plan it and they're strategic. Sometimes they're just lucky. Very, very true. Lovely. <laughs> it depends on the leader, my friend. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Okay. X, Y, and Z, I think he's almost impossible, right? It's a quick question here from Munstax. Risk taker. Great. Brave. Good. Able to set long-term goals. Yes. Yes. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Phenomenal. Nice one. Versatile. Zeal. Oh, zealous. That's the word. So, Kasia. Yes, brilliant. Zeal is the noun. That's enthusiasm. So, the adjective. Well done. Zealous. They need to be zealous, right? Which is kind of passionate about something. <clears throat> Excellent. So these are the qualities of a leader. There are many, many more, but these are some great words to be uh, to be learning and to have. Let's move on. I'm going to go straight into a part three. I think this is a part three question. And then I've got some tips in a moment. <clears throat> get out of the way, Keith. <laughs> Come on, Keith, get out of the way. You're always in the way, mate. In it, <clears throat> do you think in the future there will be more women leaders? Again, we talked about Cheryl Sandberg uh, the other day, the CFO <clears throat> of Facebook, um, an amazing lady, really interesting, and she talks a lot about women leadership. But my question to you today is: Do you think in the future there will be more women leaders? Why does he keep doing that? Why does he go? He wants you to make a comment. Oh, right. Okay. There you go. Make a comment. What do you think? We've got, of course, says Romina. Hassan has a very nice answer here. I think that good leaders are made, not born. Either a woman or a man. If a certain individual has the desire and self-discipline, they can become a successful leader. Very nice. Sarah says, Sarah, yeah, I think so. Yes, sure. Okay, give me a bit more. Tell me a little bit more. Tell me why. Right, why? Kamala Harris is the new woman leader. Is the new women leader? What is the new woman leader? I guess the, when you're saying the, yes. New woman leader or female leader. She is a female leader or she is the, the new woman leader in the White House. Well, she will be. I think she will. <clears throat> I think once um, our friend Joe 
reaches 80, I think Kamala will take over, probably. Yes. Absolutely, without a doubt. Nice. Silpa, very, without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. I can say there will be more women leaders in the future. Brilliant. Tell me why. Ah, Raman, come in. Great. Yes, I think because nowadays more and more women are getting education and have passion to do something for their self, for themselves, for themselves. Nice. Do something for themselves. Yeah. Raman, excellent. Very nice. <laughs> Marvi, I've just seen your comments. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> interesting. No, our world bias men. <laughs> right. Good. Yes, indeed. This is happening right now, like in New Zealand. Yes. Very, very good example. Great. So notice, right? Notice, and these are the things. My tips right, for part three. Um, so as you've done, oh, let me do this down here. So yeah, think about your opinion. Of course, you want to give your opinion, yes or no. And then say why. So that was the next step. I was asking you, okay, yes, of course, without a shadow of a doubt, absolutely, yes, opinions, great good but then why well because um they're getting more education and they have passion to do something for themselves right say why and finally use examples yeah um as somebody said the example of new zealand the pre the prime minister of new zealand is uh not only is she female but within i don't know the first year of her um, of being in power, she had a baby as well. So she was like a, a mother and a leader at the same time. So opinion, why, examples. You don't have to follow this, but if you find in part three your answers are a bit short, um, remember, remember this, right? Really important. Opinion, why, examples. Yeah, great. Let's see, anybody else got examples or uh reasons why we've got an opinion here uh let's see opinions any any reasons okay kin has a good one here maybe there is more opportunity for women nowadays great more opportunity and people pay more attention to equal rights that is a lovely answer kin very very nice good so you've got the reason. Here's another reason from Afolasad. Yes, I think so, because women of these days, women of these days, women these days, without the of, right? Great. Women these days are versatile. Versatile with an A. Are versatile, visionaries, and very intelligent. Nice. Very nice. Uh, next one. Yes, because women are good at judgment in critical conditions. <laughs> there's always a danger, right? When we talk about the men-women question, there's always a danger that we start generalizing. Oh, women are better at that. Oh, men are stronger at this. Very difficult. Um, I mean, it's fine. You can generalize. The point is your language. That's the number one thing. That's the most important thing. Yeah. We have the, ex and then examples. So examples of Kamala Harris. Any other examples? Let's have a look. We've got reasons, examples. Now, here's a nice one from Saman, who's a fellow traveler. Yes, I do. As we go forward, women are taking some fantastic breakthroughs in all areas. Marita Mirzakani was one of those women leading in mathematics. Yes, that's great. Remember, women, right, in the plural, women. Um, 
I'm just going to tidy up your answer a little bit. They're making some fantastic breakthroughs, right, in the plural. I've completely tidied up your answer, Samam. Yes, as we go forward, women, or women, be careful with women and women, are making making breakthroughs in all areas. Maritam Marizakani was one of those leading women in mathematics. Great opinion, reason, example. Excellent. Like it. Okay. As I say, you don't have to follow that, but is a nice structure to follow. Great. Let me just pick out one more. Yep. Thetmon has a very nice example here. Definitely yes. Right. That's the opinion. Nowadays, it is very easy to break the glass ceiling. Hooray. That's a lovely expression. Uh, and no more gender discrimination. The glass ceiling, right, is the <laughs> it's the invisible block that stops some people, for example, women, moving up. It's just an it's it's that's why it's glass, right? It's invisible. You can't see it, and it's often prejudiced, basic prejudice, which you sometimes cannot see. Take Myanmar as an example. Um, Dao Aung San Suu Kyi, who has become a state councillor, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, she she led the country, right? She became your leader. Very, very nice, Ted Mon. That's a lovely example. Great. Okay. Um, talking of examples, I was looking through your examples on the Facebook page yesterday, and I'm just going to share a few of them. I mean, examples of leadership. It was interesting, right? I found this interesting. <clears throat> oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I can't change that. Never mind. Can I change that? Yes. Um, we had people talked about Sheikh Hasina from Bangladesh, right? Apparently she's, I mean, very, very few presidents um, get the third term in office. I mean, she's been there for what, over 12, 13 years? And very, very few people managed a third term in office. And I think she's one of the longest leading leaders in a democratic country, I think. Donald Trump, great. I mean, he's a typical example. I'm not going to talk much about that because that's so controversial and interesting these days. <laughs> I don't want to upset anybody. Y.S. Jagan Mohan Red, great. Another great example. Um, Kamala Harris from America again. Prime Minister Imran Khan, right? great from Pakistan who who's of course I mean this is a fascinating story of the ex cricketer an amazing cricketer who then became the leader of the country uh, in Pakistan and not the only person who's got an interesting background I think Hungary had a, a comedian right professional comedian who became the president so it's not unusual Ronald Reagan an actor right a, you know, a cowboy actor became president of the United States Angela Merkel, yeah, from Germany, another impressive woman leader. Uh, now, I noticed all of these were political. And then somebody had a business leader. Um, and Abad Reda, Abad Reda, who I can't remember, was it MTN Ghana? He was the president of that company. Um, so business leaders. Richard Branson, right? Your Jack Ma, people like that. Great examples. Rodrigo Duterte, the Philippine guy, quite controversial, I know, internationally, but he was a leader who cleaned up the corruption, right, in, in um, the Philippines. Gusto, another quite a well-known um, Indonesian leader. President No Mu Yuen, who's one of the ex- Korean prime ministers. And here was another interesting one, Kim Nam Joon, also Korean, but not the country leader, although some people may wish him to be. Um, he's a pop star, right? K-pop. So he's a famous singer. Um, but somebody explained why he was such a powerful leader because of his, not only his personality and his charisma, but also his influence as an influencer. Um, you've got Sudha Murthy, who was great, an educational leader, right? A famous Indian teacher, I think a social worker as well, who's a leader in, in her field in, well, 
at least in India, if not worldwide. And Aung San Suu Kyi, who's already been mentioned. So examples, the reason I bring these up are just to push home to you. Examples are important. And don't just think of politics. Think wider, right? Don't just focus on political situations. Remember, as we mentioned earlier, right, you could be talking about different kinds of leader. You could be talking about religious, business, community, student, family, all of that. There's lots of different kinds of leaders you can be talking about. Nice. Great. I'm sure you'll share some more with me. Namjoon is the leader of BTS. Oh, I didn't know that. And uh, Sudha Murthy is a philanthropist as well. Ah, that's interesting, right? She's a philanthropist without the K. <laughs> You're in such a rush. You've got the K, no K. And then you've got the Ambani brothers from India. I do not know, but tell me more about them. Um, of course, you've got Gandhi was mentioned a few times. You've got, of course, football leaders, Cristiano and both Messi. Definitely, I would say they're leaders, right? They're captains of their team. They are absolutely leaders. Justin Trudeau, yes. The Infosys Foundation, that's the one. Yes, Shakun, you were the one who mentioned her, the Infosys Foundation. So she's also a philanthropist. A philanthropist, if you don't know, is somebody who helps other people usually giving money to help other people. Uh, yeah, Indra Nui, who was on my photos. She was in one of my photos. Uh, CEO of Pepsi-Cola, great Indian leader. Um, oh, right. It's always dangerous, right? People are going to say some silly things when you bring up politics. I don't... Oh, no. Right, I will get my moderators to help sort me out. Excuse me, guys, most important, right? Without any joking apart, any kind of insults are not acceptable in this live lesson at all, right? So please stop. Great, we've got Prime Minister Mr. Naranda. We've got Elon Musk, another business leader. We've got my father. These are great, fantastic examples. Brilliant. Cal Panchuala, first woman to the moon. Great female examples as well. Absolutely brilliant. So lots of different examples. I'm going to move on. <laughs> he says, briefly move on. Talked about tips for part two. Talked about tips for part three. What's next? Aha. Next is this one model answers okay so this is your chance to ask me for you to ask me a model answer a model question any question around leaders or leadership it can be a part one although that's unusual or part two or a part three question any kind of question i'll have a look through and we'll have a look so let me give you a minute to to do that have a think Think of some questions you might want to ask. And I'll be with you in a moment. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look through. Steve Jobs, Florence Nightingale, great. Philanthropist is similar to donor, yes. <laughs> Virat Kohli, I wrote it 10 times. <laughs> great, I'm sorry, I can't see all the messages. Brilliant. Queen Elizabeth, that's an interesting example of a leader. Right, I'm looking through, looking through. Questions, okay. D 
Do you want to be a... Oh, do you want to be a leader? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> right. Um. Okay, let me... Piss, piss, da, 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 da. Uh, okay. Here is... Let's do this. I mean, this is a, an easy one to start with. What are the qualities of a good leader for you, right? Great question. Makes it a bit more personal. What are the qualities of a good leader for you? Let me just paste and copy this up here. Da -da. It's white. I need to get black. So you can see. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's it's hard to move. <laughs> Stop moving. <sighs> okay, I can see what the problem is. Bear with me. I can just find out what this why it's not moving. Right, at last. <laughs> What are the qualities of a good leader for you? Hmm. Hmm. So, for me, I think a leader, first and foremost, is somebody who has a vision and not only has the vision of what they want in the future, but has the ability to lead others and to take others with them towards that future. So I think they must be influential and persuasive, but to do it in such a way that people want to go with them and follow them and realize that vision. So I think these are key factors that a good leader must have. Um, on top of that, I think they also need to be quite decisive and to be able to make decisions even though there's not enough information, but to choose a path um, in, a, in a quick time. So I would think those are some of the key qualities a good leader needs. Right. Great. I was trying to pull in, well, quite. it came quite naturally, pulling in some of the adjectives we've mentioned, right? Decisive, um, have a vision, be a visionary, um, persuasive, all of those. So adjectives are a key part of that. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you very much, Sandy. Oh, let's see. Uh, oh. Okay. Can children be a leader to the elderly? That's interesting, isn't it? Interesting question. Can children, not ah, but just can children? Can children be a leader to the elderly? Hmm. Um, <laughs> that's a very interesting question, and I haven't thought about that before. But to be honest, I would say, well, it depends on both the child and the elderly. Um, I think children can have a great influence on elderly people. Um, you know, for example... They can teach them new technology. Um, I know lots of younger teenagers are helping their grandparents learn how to get online, to become silver surfers and to browse the internet and find things that they want, even shopping online. Um, so I think if there's either a skills gap and there's also an element of trust between the child and the grandparent, then absolutely, I think certain children have a knack for leading their grandparents and to lead the the elderly so long as there is an existing relationship between them cha 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 great english word cha cha um yeah great so very nice question right some interesting expressions there um if they have a knack for doing something right is a special or a good ability they have a knack for doing something for leading um building trust trustworthy we talked about to be trustworthy build trust is important 
Um, yes, some nice expressions there. Lovely. Let's move on. Let's take another question. One more. Oh, there's quite a few. This is interesting. Um, do you have any leadership qualities? And this is, I'm going to pick this because it's, I think it's a, almost a part one question, right? And I don't know if this exists at the moment, doesn't really matter. Um, but it's an interesting question. Mansvi, thank you very much for that. Okay. Remember, you don't have to tell the truth. <laughs> um, do you have any leadership qualities? That's a tough question, and I'm not sure I've thought about that a lot, but let me see. Um, I think there are some aspects of leadership that I do possess. Um, you know, I do have a knack for influencing people and getting them to follow me. I think my down-to-earth approach can be quite appealing. And so people sometimes come with me and will join me to try and achieve a particular goal that I want to achieve. Um, that said, the kind of leadership qualities of being decisive, I'm not great at. I think my Achilles heel is decisiveness. Um, I tend to <laughs> dilly dally and dither when it comes to making decisions. Um, so I'm not very good at that. So I think that's one aspect that maybe I'm not very good at leading. And that's my answer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That, I mean, when you get to that, you know, you get to that point in your answer when you go, uh, uh, oh, God, what do I say now? Um, 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 and you start hesitating. That is terrible. So when you get to that point, when you think, I don't know what to say next, just say, and that's my answer. Mm -hmm. look, look at the examiner and go that's my answer boom and that will help your fluency because otherwise you start going um yeah and uh, uh uh and and it looks terrible and that's my answer <laughs> boom great nice interesting that's a tough question actually because i haven't thought about it so i had to make that up on the spot but great. So lovely. Three nice questions there, I think, about being a, a leader. Let me move this over. Let me take this one off. Let me take me off. Right. These model answers, we're going to transcribe. And uh, a big, big thanks to the people who helped me with this. Um, Sheila, in particular, thank you very much for helping with transcribing the model answers. And we're going to put them on the website, just to remind you, right, in case you forget, go to the free live lessons part of the website. This will be in about four or five hours. Um, so you need to wait a little bit because it takes time to do the notes and to get them up there. But you'll be able to come here and download the lesson notes here. Great. Recycling was last week. Good. What's next? Let me see how you're doing. <laughs> uh, great. IELTS reading tips. I don't have IELTS reading tips. Who's your leadership example? Good. Some great questions. Great. Thank you very much. Guys, it is time. Well, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> As Mary says, it's Kahoot time. Um, great. It is Kahoot time. I think it's time to finish up with a bit of revision. We're going to do, I'm going to revise four questions, different aspects of the language we've looked at today, and we'll do it with Kahoot. If you don't know Kahoot, you have to log in to www.kahoot. Dot it. Let me show you. And then we're going to play together. It's quite fun, actually. So let me just log in and then I'll show you. <clears throat> there is an app. I don't have an app, but Kahoot has an app. <laughs> um, and you can play from the app as well. Let me show you. Hang on. Mm, OK, classic. 
this is going to show you now get ready to join this will show you where to join so you can see the uh, the address there right www.kahoot.it and the pin is 6059633 okay so that's www.kahoot.it and the pin 6059633 so you can all start joining and uh, I'll give you a, a minute or so to join in you have to put your name in as well I think And don't worry if you can't get in, um, you can always put your answer in the comments. But how many people have we got in? Let's have a look. 136. Wow, I'm still joining. Okay, great. I'll just give you a few more seconds if you want to join in. If not, you can use the comments. How do you play? Well, once you're in Kahoot, you just wait for the questions and it's going to be multiple choice. You'll see the question and you have to choose A, B, C or D or their colours, their blue, orange, red or another colour. Right. Dum, 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 dum. It is catchy music, yo, yo. Very catchy. Right, let's get going. Let's get this game going. <clears throat> Here we go. Leaders. First question. He stands blank from the crowd. He stands blank from the crowd. Remember, what's the preposition? You've got 20 seconds. Well done, Zainab. Ragav, well done. Ishmit, be careful. Wow, excellent. Look at that. 101 people got it right. 101 people got... I'm going to go out. Where am I? 100 people, 101 people got out. Um, a few people put um, above. You can say he stands above the crowd but not above from no and up from no 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 definitely stand out stand out from the crowd that's the one excellent well done and those of you in the comments most of you got it right there nice let's move on to the leaderboard <clears throat> ned is at the top well done. Sefa is second. And victory is mine. Is not quite victory yet, but you're in third place. Next question. She is a blank above the rest. Ooh, she is a blank above the rest. Do you remember this one? 20 seconds left. Nice, Diksha. Tejas, well done. Yeah, she is a cut above the rest. A few people put league, I notice. The expression is she is in a different league. Yes, but this one, a cut above, right? She's a cut above the rest. That's the answer. Not bridge, not mountain. Right, good. Where are we? Scoreboard. Victory is mine, has moved up to top place for the moment. Sefer's down in second and Temo Jojo is in third. Next question, number three. He is a blank leader. 
Now we've talked a lot about adjectives today. People confuse nouns and adjectives. Let's sort it out. What's the answer here? And I'll give you a clue. You need an adjective. He is a blank leader. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. Oh, that makes me happy. Look at that. Charismatic. And you've all got it. We did a lot of work on the stress, right? Charismatic. Charismatic leader. Brilliant. That's the adjective. So remember your adjectives when you're describing leaders. Excellent. Where are we? Is victory yours? Possibly. Still up there at the top. Seth has gone second. Mary Brown has edged into third place. It's now the fourth and final question. Her skills set her blank from the crowd. Her skills set her blank from the crowd. Careful with your prepositions. Well done, Sador. Nitu, well done. Ishmit, nice. Apart, yeah, vast majority got it. Her skill set her apart from the crowd. Again, a few people put above. If there is no from, you can say her skill set her above the crowd. That's okay. But if it's from, no, it must be set her apart from the crowd. That's the idiomatic expression, right? Excellent. Let's find out then how the final leaderboard has ended up. Third place, Srikanth out of the blue. Puckingham, number one. Ah, oh, it's Sefer. <laughs> what happens if victory is mine? Victory is not mine, but you are so close. Sefer, top of the pops. Well done. You got the top place. Absolutely brilliant. And well done to Puckingham and Srikanth as well. <laughs> uh, excellent. So that's it. We've come to the end of our session on leaders and leadership. I hope you've enjoyed being with me today. Do remember if you're on YouTube here, do remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications um, and do check out later on the website, Keith Speaking Academy. And you can get the notes in about three or four hours um, or if you're in bed then tomorrow morning as well. OK, that's it. Come and join the Facebook group. Lots of exciting things happening over there as well. I do look forward to seeing you over there. I'm going to turn off Kahoot. I wish you all a fantastic, um, a fantastic what? A fantastic day and a fantastic weekend. Turn off my banners. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care, all of you, and I'll see you very, very soon. Remember Saturday, recorded video, mock test. It's a band seven. Look out for it. And it's from Vietnam. Mm, great. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye-bye.